Good morning, people. Uh, Sunday morning, day after Amazing Con in Las Vegas in September. So, I did a drive about two and a half hours. Me and a friend went down. The tickets were 40 each for a one-day pass. I knew in the end that, you know, I wasn't going to pick up a lot. I only had a little bit of money. But in the end, this is my haul. And yes, I know it's not that exciting for you guys, but pretty much <clears throat> I went down with a few hundred dollars and figured, hey, what the heck? Is thing already broken? Uh, I guess not. Okay. So, yeah, I just figured it was kind of nice to go down, get a few, hang out with a friend. I met some old friends I hadn't seen in 20 years. Hung out with a few artists, including Chad Harden, guys. Go look at his website. He's on Instagram is Harden Art. Uh, me and him are in talks about, I know his brother and his nephew. He's in, He told me he was looking to get rid of my, his entire collection. So, if he ever comes up with a price, I don't know. Maybe I'll be changing and becoming a comic book store. 10,000 plus books, who knows. So, first thing I picked up was this guy. I didn't have a lanyard, they didn't give me one, so this and the comic book, which I'll show later, was like 20 bucks. It's a nice metal lanyard, I like these, I collect them every once in a while. So, hang on one second, sorry. My voice is gone, my lips are chapped. So we did go down, me and friend went down, and I spent money. We had a good lunch, went to a Korean barbecue, all you can eat, don't ask. So, what we have here is a mystery box from the convention. They only had three left when I grabbed it, so, and a few books I picked up. <clears throat> First of all, don't ask me why, these were cheap. Brave of the Bold, number 135. So, these were just, I, 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 I was talking to a guy, I looked through his stuff, and they were kind of cool. And I, I'm always, this is the one I really bought, was the Hulk and Submariner. Uh, Marvel Superheroes featuring Hulk and Submariner, number 38. I thought it was a neat book. These are just dollar books. Now, when you bought the lanyard, you paid 20 bucks, and you also got this for free. I guess this was a uh, Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, number one, Rob Liefeld edition from Amazing Comic Con last year, I guess. Amazing Con last year. So, I mean, this was the extra book they threw in. <clears throat> then I picked up, I think these are one four fifty. Uh a Somebody's Killing Children, number 25, Amazing Comic Con convention. They don't tell me. They told me um, that it was. They made about 450 of these, so I picked up two of them. They both come with a ticket uh, certificate of authenticity. One of them is going to make it into my next mystery box. They're they're about a fifty dollar book. Now here's where it got fun. <clears throat> now I knew I was I was trying to get just like one book or one decent book I wanted to try. I was down to eleven X Men right. So I was able to pick up, and the price tags on them wasn't are not what I paid. But here is X Men number thirteen, second appearance of Juggernaut. One hundred and fifty is what he had it marked. I got it for less than that. We talked, so we'll take the price tag off. Definitely, this is <clears throat> this is my uh, this is my reason for going down there. I get you know on eBay I wouldn't have found this for less than two hundred probably. He says it's a three five. I, I don't even care. I just finally have this one filled in. Juggernaut's first appearance cost me way too freaking much. And then this book, take the price tag off of two, I did not pay that much. <clears throat> I've been looking for this one, and prices on this one all over the convention were between, I don't know, $200 to $300. This one's a good presentable copy. Everyone seems to think it's worth a ton more money. I guess to me it's not. But this is X-Men number 35. And this is the Spider-Man crossover. So I filled in two more holes. There's nothing really... It presents incredibly well. There could be things in the back. There's no grade on this one. So who knows? But I paid a decent price, and that was the bulk of the money I brought down there. On the way out, they had... I went back to their little... They had mystery boxes. These were, I think, $40 uh, if you wanted them. So I figured, what the hell? We'll just pay for the last. Go for it. Only mystery box. Torpedo was there. I could have gotten one of theirs. So in the end... I have no clue what's in here. I have to sit down. Anything else? We'll just go with. I really. I'm guessing these are. I'm guessing these are specific only to the con. Maybe who knows? I'll look them up later. But okay, there's a stack of books together, and then there's these and this thing. So I will. There's no way to go around this. I'll go look these up. I'm not too worried about them. They're probably worth about a few dollars each. But for forty bucks, what do you want? Scotty Young. 
Savage Savage Spider-Man number one. I think the cover's cool. I'm not that big of a Scotty Young person, but kind of cool. So, <clears throat> this one's kind of cool. This one actually says what it is. This was in the all-new Hulk number one variant edition from Minneapolis Comic Con Wizard World exclusive. <laughs> hey, to me, that's kind of cool. Different. Nothing I collect. If anybody needs it, let me know. It may go in a mystery box. Next up, this one's in a baggie. Deadpool money, uh, something for money. Um, another Comic Con box number one. I have no idea. So, cool edition. It's in a baggie. I really don't like them staying in baggies, but maybe it will for now. Okay, this one has a certificate of authenticity from Donnie Gates. Uh, your uh, amazing Comic Con convention. Doesn't say what year. Under the assurance that one company memorabilia item is personally hand signed by Donnie Gates. Hey, what the heck? What is it? Nice. So it is a Hulk number six. Titan emerges. I don't know which series. Uh, this is a Donnie Gates series, of course. Duh. So this is the big one that was out before the new one. So comes with a ticket of authenticity for Donnie Gates. He, I think he was even at the convention, but the lines were so bad I wasn't going to sit there. And the final book, no certificate or anything, is... I have no idea. Not signed. Uh, it's a virgin. Let's see what it is. I'm redoing the tape on all these anyway. I hate when they use the white tape. <clears throat> so for 40 bucks, the Donny case will probably be worth about 20 alone. And we have... 425. Virgin. Unknown Comics Edition. So, that's what this one is. I just pulled the thing out too far. I'll put it back in later. So, guys, there you go. I've never seen this copy of it. I have a lot of 25s. I just don't think I have this one. But that is it, guys. What do you guys think for 40 bucks? I think it was pretty good. The Donny Gates alone, I think, is worth 15, 20 bucks. Signed. So, look for them in a mystery box coming to you, unless I keep them. So I'm happy I was able to, I'm down to 9 X-Men books to get 1 to 100. And I've got about 40%, I think, already graded above 3 fives and 9s to 10s or whatever. So that is it. Let me know if anybody needs anything. Some of this stuff is going to be hitting the next mystery box, which will be getting ready soon. I'm preparing it, starting it this weekend once I clean up in here. Wife's going in for surgery, so I'm going to be helping her fix up, so... Just for me. But that's it, everybody. Come on out on Tuesdays for Cranky Comic Chat this week. I think it's on my channel. Yeah, it must be. I'll set it up. i got to talk to Taylor. I'll, yeah. So, guys, have a nice night. Talk to you soon, and come on out and chat.